हेलो व्यूर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज रंजी राज एंड यूर स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन दी स्टडी बीस्ट सो बेस्ड अपॉन मेनी सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड व्यूअर्स टॉपिक लाइक आई हैव डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग दी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो मेनी ऑफ देम आर आस्किंग टू मेक अ वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन दिस ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग टॉपिक सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड लाइक इन फ्यू डेज आई एम मेकिंग सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग एंड इन फर्दर डेज आई विल मेकिंग कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो like uh, in every week uh, you can uh, see uh, two videos based on the soft computing and two videos based on computer graphics so it will be like hand on hand we'll going on these two subjects so uh, let's get started what is soft computing uh, you have seen in my artificial intelligence video i have discussed many algorithms uh, like a star algorithm the bayesian belief networks constraint satisfaction problem and uh, many other knowledge representation like all the machine learning which comes in the artificial intelligence are all classified or it can be considered as a subset or not in fact the superset of the soft computing topic so soft computing is nothing but so before studying the soft computing let us talk about what's like if there is something called as soft computing so by the term soft computing you may get confused that it could be software computing but that's not the case that's not soft computing soft computing is different and software computing is different so soft computing is basically uh, like computing into the neural networks the neurons of the brains in the human beings so all those comes under the soft computing so if there is some term called as soft computing there would be obviously a term called as hard computing so let us understand the difference between what the soft computing and hard computing so before getting into the definition or what all components does the soft computing actually comprises of we'll first see what is the difference between the hard computing and soft computing so like i said uh, there is a term called as hard computing so hard computing uh, will have certain like a definitive step will be there for calculation of certain problems certain steps for so solving certain mathematical equations like for example in integration you have certain uh, steps or algorithms or to be followed to give a particular definite answer like you have to reach the target solution for that like in uh, differential equations your differentiation your calculus your matrix multiplication uh, like in many other uh, algorithms or for solving the problems you may require some definitive steps so those uh, things or those answers which you get from solving those problems uh, that have a one particular answer like uh, that has to be definite if you don't arrive at that particular answer then you may get something wrong or your solution may goes wrong so that's not with the soft computing soft computing is uh, all about like giving or taking an approximation like for ex example uh, you have the weather forecast systems or like the radar or the sonar Uh, so in that you cannot have the approximate uh, estimation or in fact you cannot also have the definite uh, estimation that at this particular point of time or at this particular second of interval this is going to be fired or this event is going to be happening so like in weather applications or you can check on the uh, weather acq forecast so all those uh, places uh, where soft computing comes into picture Uh, you can see there is an approximate answer to this so that may be finite so like in the hard computing and all uh, you have the boolean set of instructions like you input it into logical gates and you get some particular answer for that and based on that it will display the output so in soft computing we make use of fuzzy logic or fuzzy set theory along with boolean logic is incorporated into soft computing uh, for programming into the robots or the agents that we call uh, in technical definition so soft computing is uh, what or what is soft computing comprised of so soft computing actually comprises of something called as the fuzzy logic like fuzzy logic is random logic which you can take from a particular set and can process it for uh, getting some uh, results or for approximate results like for uncertainty mainly you use the soft computing Uh, in turing machines you have the uncertainty principle so all those places where uncertainty comes into picture we may use soft computing so soft computing is used in such places where we have the fuzzy logic uh, next uh, talking about the probabilistic reasoning 
like in artificial intelligence i have said the knowledge representation where the cnf uh, and all forms are there so basically we have this probabilistic reasoning in that and we have the artificial neural network so artificial neural networks basically consist of the human brain the study of the human brain i'll be uh, covering a topic based on the biological neural networks in my next video so uh, what in that i'm going to cover is about the human brain like uh, what all uh, things we have the neurons nucleus uh, the axons dendrites as well as the synapses uh, those are connecting and how these linkages are uh, going or how the impulses are being sent so that video i'll be making next after this so all those things uh, where we construct the neural networks artificially not biologically so those are classified under the artificial neural networks and we have the machine learning like what the machine actually should exhibit if there is some obstacle in between then what action should it perform whether it should stop or whether it should go or whether it should take a round turn or it should take a u turn so all those decisions are classified under the machine learning and then we have the genetic algorithm which is evolutionary that uh like from generations it's being followed like the inheritance and all comes into this genetic algorithm so the summation of all these things like when you take the summation like this is the summation in mathematics when you take the summation of all these factors or all these constraints and when put together it forms your soft computing so whatever i talk till now when you mix all those things or the mixture of all the above five are compressed into the soft computing so like in uh, human being we have uh, human beings have five senses that is the eyes ears nose skin and the tongue so like in wise in soft computing in robots uh, if we need to incorporate all these properties then we need to follow all these principles and incorporate them so that uh, they can have or they will work like the human beings or they will exhibit the property what human being is expected to so all this comes into uh, soft computing so soft computing is comprised of all these things uh, next we speaking about we have some few more topics or few more sections called as the natural language processing uh, which is used for speaking like the robots uh, when they actually speak or the way the robots are uh, speaking is based on the nlp that is natural language processing uh, where the voice recognition is done as well as the uh, speaking is done next is the fuzzy logic where the partial truthfulness is considered the uncertainty also comes into this picture and then we have these neural networks which we talked about here that is the brain it's all considered or all comprised of the brain how the brain functioning works next is the machine learning which is used for learning and judging and we have the genetic algorithm which is evolutionary so uh, all this comprises of the soft computing so soft computing basically takes up the fuzzy logic plus boolean logic for its implementation like it takes these two things as its input and then process it further for its desired output now based on the application perspective i'll talk about a few places where all these things comes into picture so first of all uh, we have the character recognition like uh, in the character recognition we have the ocr readings and like many other things for reading the uh, or for identification uh, we use soft computing in character recognition like in soft computing context in basically in terms of robots while playing with the artificial intelligence next we have the target recognition like for example when we have a play with the dart game then at what instance or what point we should actually hit that uh, dart so those comes into target recognition then we have obstacle recognition this is used uh, while for agents when they are driving or for a driverless car uh, then what decision it should take whether uh, when uh, some person is crossing